Logan Paul teases a big celebrity feud. YouTube hates Papa John's. Plus, Logan reveals why KSI will accept the Jake Paul fight. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your YouTube roundup, starting with Addison Rae. The TikTok superstar has blessed NYC with her presence earlier this week and also managed to piss off some of the workers at the conservatory in the process. So right now we are in a, like, sh shed. So like, <laughs> we're underground. So we just, we announced that we were at the conservatory, which we didn't know was a store. <laughs> That's why you went out of the room. They're gonna start pushing the glass. Someone's gonna get hurt. So hi, um, that was a store, and we're so sorry to everyone that works there. But there is like, how many people got thousands? Think, like thousands of people thousands. outside. And let's stick with Addison because it looks like Trippy Red is trying to get on her father's good side. Earlier today, Miss Ray tweeted a screenshot of a text from her mother that read, "Trippy Red follows dad on TikTok." A couple hours after that, Addison told fans she had a scary dream. I wonder if it was about Trippy. And speaking of Trippy Red, remember that time he was making out with Tana at the Pornhub Awards after party? He probably didn't, but I needed a transition, so enjoy that PDA. Now to the actual Tana news. She took to Twitter on Monday to update fans about her book. She said, my first book is really coming together. I keep making it better and better. I really can't wait to give you this. Afterward, Keemstar quote cheated Tana and asked who her ghostwriter is. She clapped back with an F you, prompting an apology of sorts from the drama alert host. Tana also retweeted tweeted our ridiculous video and thumbnail from yesterday and neither confirmed nor denied the pregnancy rumors. And just in case your sarcasm detector's broken, we know she was joking in that Instagram story. Relax, friends. To Ethan Klein, the H3 podcast host dropped an episode with Papa John's that was mysteriously demonetized and removed from the trending page. Yesterday, Ethan took to Twitter to reveal why the video was treated this way, and it all comes down to the auto-generated closed captions that claim John said the N-word. Luckily, Team YouTube came through and managed to get the problem fixed for Ethan, but regardless, as he tweeted, this is a problem that, quote, needs to be discussed, how dangerous this can be for a creator's well-being and livelihood. But okay, from one podcast to another, let's talk about Impulsive. Yesterday's episode spilled a ton of tea, and it started with the Mike cheating scandal. To sum that up quickly, Mike gives the play-by-play -play and then takes full responsibility for what happened, vowing to stay completely faithful to Lana Rhodes, despite them not officially dating. When it comes to Logan, he completely ignored Mike's attempt to talk more about Josie Canseco, and later in the episode, avoids talking about GEZ as well. Is there beef between these two? And then I ran into uh, our good friend GEZ in the in the in the lounge too. Friend? He's a, he's cool to me. He's it's not cool to Logan. No, that's what I'm is, picking up. That's right, what I'm picking right, up. I don't here's know. The, here's the deal. I don't. I will I will wait to see if this narrative develops. At which point, then I will say something maybe. But for now, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it be. However, LP is very shy when it comes to the subject of KSI. While talking about JJ's future fight with Jake, Logan sort of respectfully slams the rapper's music career. Um, I'm gonna try to be as like unbiased here and like not uh, spew negativity. It, JJ's music career, I, it ain't going anywhere. Wait, he's charting. He's the first influencer in the to UK. Chart. In the UK. No, I know that, but it seems with like features a, it and, just seems and, like and a actual time. artists on the hooks. I think he's gonna do his tour. By the way, it's gonna be successful. I'm not saying that right now he's not like yep. popping and he won't sell right, out right, arenas right, and shit. Right. But like coming from a strict like an art standpoint, I don't think anyone listens to his music and is like, "Yo, this kid's gonna be like one of the biggest in the world." Maybe in the UK because he run he runs he runs the UK. He's got a big presence. He, he beat me in the fight. But I think when his music starts to slow down because his music can't stand alone on its own, he'll want to get that second boost and then take the fight against Jake. I told Jake, I think the fight's going to take place in 2021. I don't think I it'll happen this year. In the end, we also get to hear about Logan's first run in with October's very own. The vlogger revealed he really wanted to impress Drizzy, but he ended up being too drunk to prove himself. But luckily, Logan didn't have anything to prove because apparently Drake is kind of a fan. LP said the Canadian GOAT gave him a speech about how he and Jake are trailblazers in the creator space. And even though he didn't say he did, I feel like he cried hearing it from the sixth god. I know I would. But all right, guys, hit the sub, like, and bell button. Comment how many tabs you have open on whatever browser you use. And then follow me on social media at Ali Stegnita. Bye, guys.